Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, it's product review time again. This time I have three really cool products from the company Start RC. And these products are for the Mavic Air and also the Mavic Pro. And they're really cool, check this out. The first product is to stop your props on your Mavic Air from flopping all over the place when you're putting it in a case or out of a case. So something that will hold them in place. Here we go. It is this item here. Can't really see it through the plastic. Let me pull it out. Here's what was in the plastic. And how does it work, you're wondering? Well, if you look, one end is closed and the other end is open. So it fits on the back of your Mavic Air. It just slides on like this and locks in place. And if you look at your Mavic Air, you'll see that the props are stuck. They can't move because this bracket in the back is holding them in place. So that makes it easy to just drop it in your case. And to pull the Mavic out of your case, you could just grab it by the handle and pull it right out. So I'll put the link to this in the description below. Now on to the next product. And the next product is for the Mavic Air and it comes in three pieces. You get two little barbecue grills and a little holder. So these slide into the holder and then this all attaches to your Mavic Air for the purpose of not getting your fingers chopped off when you catch the Mavic Air. This is what it looks like assembled and let me show you how easy it is to attach to the Mavic Air. It just fits on the belly of the Mavic Air and it will snap in place. And there it is all assembled. It looks, kind of looks like a flying squirrel of sorts. Uh, so you can see when you go to catch your little Mavic Air, you catch it down here and you can't get your fingers in the props. So it's a protection, but uh, it also serves a second purpose. So the first purpose is to catch it. So let me show you a video of me catching it. All right, I'm out at the park and the sun is slowly going down. So we have evening skies here, but I need somebody to hold the camera while I fly the drone. So I've got, where is she? Nikki to help out. Where are you Nikki? Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. All right. So she'll be our camera lady tonight. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out these little things where you can actually uh, catch the drone and not chop your fingers off. Let's see if it works. The only way we'll know is obviously if I don't uh, chop my fingers off. So let me bring this drone back here. I will get out of the way because it won't go back with me sitting here. All right. So you should see the drone. You see me. I can put my hands here and touch it. The sensors still work. And bringing it down to catch it. There we go. If you tip it sideways, it's going to turn off. So obviously if the sensors are on when you're bringing it down, it's uh, going to want to go back up. So you got to hang on to this little piece of plastic right there and then it works really well. So that's pretty cool. So you can catch it and not kill your fingers. Uh, it does come with a second purpose. In the box, when you buy this unit, you get a bunch of GoPro attachments. So I've got one attached on here. And if you had a GoPro camera, you could put it in your little unit and you could fly around and film with a GoPro camera on the bottom. But in this demo, you're going to see, I actually put a light on the bottom, which is pretty bright. There it is right there. And uh, I attached that to the bottom and flew around. Now, a Mavic Air with a light on it is a pretty neat thing to see. Watch this. All right, so here's the light. I'm going to turn it on. And since you can't take off on the ground, if it's flat, you could try taking off in your hand, but I'm not going to bother. What I'm going to do is there's a little indentation into my, into my case here. I'm just going to stick it in my case and uh, take off that way. So uh, back up, camera lady, in case all hell breaks loose. There we go, straight up. <laughs> there we go, we have a drone with a light on it. And uh, here's what it looks like when it's coming at you. Okay, so it's, it's pretty bright, the drone. I'm gonna bring it close. It's gonna come right at me uh, this way. Here, you'll see how it is. I'm going really fast. If it's coming right at your head, then uh, duck, but we're all good here. <laughs> That was the automatic braking. Yeah, you can see a nice little lighting happen on the ground. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't want to land there. All right, I got to bring it back and I'll bring it over here and we'll take it down. And there we go. So what do you think of this? A little too bright? Hang on, I'll light up me. So what do you think? Pretty cool? I thought it was pretty neat. And the light, if you're looking for the light, I'll put a description to the light in the uh, link below so you can buy the light. It's pretty inexpensive as well if you want to go that route. All right, now on to product number three, which is going to be for the Mavic Pro. All right, here's my Mavic Pro and here's product 
number three, which is the last product. It is assembled, but this is not all the pieces that come in the box. There is a ton of pieces, and again, it's all for the GoPro, anything you want to do. So if you look at this unit, and you look at your Mavic Pro, they just snap together nicely. There we go, now it's locked in place. So up here, this is a location where, if you wish, you can attach, once again, some sort of GoPro camera up here, bend it around any way you want, move this up and down to get the angle you wish. Let me just get my big fingers out of there. There you go. So you could have a GoPro up there, looking around, flying around. You could have it backwards, up, pointing straight up, pointing to the rear, all sorts of things. But that's not what I did. Once again, I took the famous light and I put the light on here. That's pretty wild looking. So uh, it actually worked out really well. So here, watch this demo of this thing flying around. This is really neat. So it seems to fly quite well with the light on the top. I think it works better than the Mavic Air with the light on the bottom. On the top it's pretty cool and you can adjust it to uh, set it at any height you want. So here I'll run it along the ground really fast. I'll send it backwards so we can see it going. There's a net there so I can't go in that fence. And here we come really quick. Follow that along. All right, I've got the camera on record. So uh, how much light is it shining on me? Let's see, I'm gonna get close to it here. Am I lit up? I probably am. Yeah, it looks pretty lit up on here. If I send it backwards, there goes the light away. So it flies with no problem with the light on it. I'm having no difficulties at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the light on strobe mode and I'm actually gonna lift the light up a little higher so it's not so low to the props. All right, so it's not bad. You could actually fly this and have the light far away with the strobe light going and uh, do a search and rescue or, or see where your drone is. So if I go backwards, let's just see here. So you can see the drone for quite some distance. Now it's all the way back to the trees and uh, you can still see the light flashing back there. So overall, this product is actually pretty cool. This one I don't mind. And you can replace that light with a GoPro if you want, or some other camera pointing in any direction you wish. So you have to admit that the Mavic Air with a light is pretty cool, and the Mavic Pro with a light is, well, even cool. I think it's actually cooler with the Mavic Pro, but it, uh, it actually is quite useful. And once again, this kit, uh, this arm and everything and all the attachments. There's a ton of attachments in the box. If you check the link below in the description, you'll see it comes with a lot of pieces and you can attach a lot of different things to it. And once again, you can adjust it any way you want, up, down, like this. And the light, I'll put a link to it below. It's a rechargeable light. It's made for a GoPro. You can actually attach a GoPro on top if you want as well. So you could have the light, a GoPro plus your Mavic Pro. And it has three settings, full blast, low, and then the pulsating, <laughs> the pulsating, the blinking mode. All right. And once again, this brings me to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the product demos. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button because I've got videos on a weekly basis of product reviews and just drone flying in general. Anyways, take care for now and we'll catch you in the next video.